Hello guys, and welcome back. Today I want to do a little review on a product that I have, and I have been using it for a couple cars. And uh, it seems to work really well. So, um, I'm going to do a little review, tell you what I think about it, tell you if you guys should buy it as well. But you guys can be the judge of that, of course. But, um, so, today we're going to talk about a particular scan tool that, for me, has worked very well. Oh, what it's called is Hyper Tough, right here, check it out, and it seems just like a simple tool, you know, nothing crazy, and it is simple, you know, that's, it's 44 something bucks or something at Walmart, and, but they're really rare because everybody's buying them out, um, a lot of people are finding out about the programs and stuff that this can do, unlike others, so they're very hard to find, um, I found one, last one on the shelf out of three Walmarts in my area, went, picked it up, got it, registered it. Um, first thing you notice right when you're looking at it is it's got all 16 prongs in here. Like a blue driver has only eight. Other ones have more or less. And um, that basically shows how many features it could do. This one can do everything. I mean, this has every single one that's in the OBD, OBD is in here. So uh, for starters, it came in a little box, nice and neat. And it gives you a little code on the side, you scan it, you register it. Um, so when you download the app, you have to actually make an account. It's free, but you gotta register under your name. And um, basically on any device you log into, you'll have all that information you know, under that account, which is nice, because I have a tablet, then I have my phone here, and I could use this on both of those devices because it's registered that device. But once you, re if you register it to one, I've tried it before, but it wasn't able to register it onto a different account so it's only good for one account so therefore it'd be just you you can't buy it upload a bunch of tunes or whatever and sell it it won't work as far as I know but um so let's get it connected and I'll show you exactly what it looks like and what it does I'll pull up on my tablet a uh, big screen and show you exactly what it can read so I'm gonna use my Pontiac today and um, show you exactly what it's reading but um, shouldn't have any codes or anything but we'll see it gives you a very detailed of everything and the fancier the car the more modules it can scan and the more options it can give you so uh, let's plug it in and see what we can do all right so I got it plugged in right there so when it's blue that means it's already paired usually it'll be green first and then it turns into um, it'll turn blue once it's paired you know okay so I got this tablet the other day at Costco it's on sale Costco is always the best and um, 199 bucks right now on sale and it's a uh, it's a 130 128 gig yes 128 gig so it's a hundred bucks off right now and the sale lasts for about a, a week or so but um, hopefully when you see this video it'll still be on sale but if not yes I got a Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 inch screen um, went and bought a cheap case for it just to have. But I run all my stuff through here. That way I have a big screen and it looks better. So um, some of the apps that you're gonna need, this is the app that comes for this thing exactly right there. That's the one. And uh, so once everything is uh, connected, you'll see, mine's already, the Bluetooth's already connected to it. Uh, make sure Bluetooth's on, yep. All right, so. Boom, there it is. All right, so first of all, you have a bunch of options here that you could do. Um, any reports and stuff that you got, you can actually click on here and it'll show you. Um, like let's say for example, my report on my Maserati. Boom, it brings out everything it's had. Um, it gives you a full on PDF file, which is super nice. So if you wanna print one out for, um, for a customer or whatever, you can actually check and see exactly what was wrong with it. Like right now, you see the engine had has one fault, and uh, you go down. It's, these are all the different modules it can scan, which is pretty cool. And tire sensors are not working, and then Skyhook suspension have one tire that was saying it's not communicating with the airbag system on the the air lift on the car. So it's pretty cool. And then it always always saves all your cars here. Um, this one only has two. I usually have my phone with me at all times, so my phone has a bunch of these. It's just a list of all the cars I've done. Um, you know, Honda Civic SI, just scan. 
So it gives you a really good detail. And then if you want to check out your history, um, you can also see exactly what's going on. Um, it'll give you a detail of everything. So for example, uh, let's do uh, the Maserati. It had a couple issues at the beginning before I started fixing them. And as you can see here right away, it will show you exactly which codes. It'll give you the name, number, you know, P0, you know, all this stuff. It gives you exactly which car, body type. And if you have more information, sometimes it'll give you the VIN. Everything should come up. And then, so it's kind of neat. It gives you exactly everything broken down. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. So that part of it's really neat. It looks very professional. Now, you can always do service stuff on here. So keep in mind, with this scanner, um, I was able to reset my maintenance light on my Maserati, which said that only the dealership should be able to reprogram my maintenance light. Basically, they have a fancy computer, they plug it in, they reset it, sets it for another five or 10,000 miles, you know. So everything I tried, all the scanners I've used, didn't wanna work. Plug this one in, boom, oil reset, and I had Maserati on here. See, I can download as much cars as I want. Um, I would click on Maserati, but this is obviously, and it gives you, you know, all the different Maseratis, which is pretty cool. This is not a Maserati, this is a Pontiac, so I'm not going to go through there. Let's exit out of there. But, um, and some vehicles will work, some it doesn't. Um, if your car is a fancy computer system, it'll, it'll work. So, and this was the only one that actually helped me get through it and got my maintenance light off without going to a dealership, which was pretty cool. So, there, there you go, right away it paid itself off. But I mean, it's got many different you know options. You got TPMS. It'll show me exactly what's going on, which one of my wheels are is at what pressure, um, what are the IDs number, everything. I mean, it really details everything. You got, I mean, DPF system for you know Sprinter vans or trucks that you want to get cleaned. Um, BMWs, for instance, if you want if you put a new battery, those cars love to get those things programmed to your car. So boom, you can sit there and reset it so your car knows it got a new battery. Uh, you want to identify keys. So you've got a remote. You want to see if it's working. That'll work. Um, you got steering angles. You can, you know, suspension, throttles. Basically, it gives you a lot of options. And different cars gives you more or less. You know, some of them are compatible. Some are not. So it just depends. But so from what I've used so far, it's been working great. And it saved me out of a lot of money from going to a dealership, for example. And then the main part is the diagnosis. So. And then these are all the cars you got. I mean, it's got everything here, you know, from Bugattis to Hondas and, you know, Ford, Puget, all kinds. And you got some other ones that are like different countries and whatnot. But, um, so for your guys' type, I have a full, act a full activation, so I don't have to pay for any of these. But if you guys get one out of the store and you plug it in, each one of these will be $15. So let's say you want to do a scan on a Mazda, you have a Mazda, it'll be $15, but once you open it, it'll always be unlocked, so you can use any Mazda, but it'll be 15 bucks. Um, so I can, I have the ability to download any one of them I need, so I just download them as I go, because it's some of them are big files, like a Beamer, it's almost two, uh, two gigabytes of memory. Um, other ones like Honda, 87 megabytes, it's really quick. So um, you can got vehicles, you can go under GM, some of them are actually Pontiac. This one actually goes under GM. So and like this one says it has not been got yet so I would have to click here now it's getting unzipped so um, you gotta wait till it downloads so you're gonna need some service for that and uh, I'm gonna wait till it downloads and then I'll see what I can find and I'll pull it up and show you the rest of the options that it can give you okay so got it connected got it downloaded so let's go to diagnosis um, go through GM so that's all downloaded now um, we can do an automatic and it'll read our VIN, which is pretty cool. And then boom, read the VIN, click OK. It'll confirm what kind of car you got. And transmission, we got a manual transmission on here. Boom, comes out exactly what I got. I got an 06 Pontiac, LE5 motor, convertible solstice, yep, all correct. So confirm, click yes. There you go. Now you can do a control unit. You can scan certain, like let's say you want only to scan airbags, click control you can go through and check what just the whatever you want or you do auto scan and it'll scan absolutely everything there it goes it's going to start from zero percent and it'll go all the way to 100 it'll take a couple minutes so uh depends what car it is if you got more fancy stuff it'll take longer but um this doesn't usually take too long on a car like this especially if it's a little older um so well i'll come back when it's at 100 and we'll talk about it a little bit more 
I was hoping this will give me some kind of fault so I can tell you and show you exactly what it, you know what it takes and how to check out your codes but so far it's got no faults there you go so that 91 percent right there 95 so each car will have a different amount of you know different modules and stuff so and then once set 100 you'll see it's gonna it'll click and then you'll see you'll be able to uh go through and just check out whatever you want so you can scroll over and save the pdf and it'll save exactly everything um usually i'll save it before i work on it that way i can show a customer hey this is all the faults you had now there's the new one no faults so as you can see here there's no faults, so there's nothing to check really but you can double click on each one and you can check the ecu information you can check the trouble codes freeze frame you know, since this has doesn't have any codes, I can't read the codes and I can't freeze them and I can't erase them. But you'll have another option saying, read codes, you read the codes. You got to read them before you erase them. Then you go back and you click erase. So, um, but there you go. And every time you click back, it'll reread it to make sure that if you cleared it, you know, it'll pass. So that's that. But you got, I mean, everything. And it details every fault. So, which is kind of cool. So, oh yeah. So if we do... Um, see if we can do, yep, save a control unit. It gives you all these different modules you can choose from. And you can test whichever one you want. You can test the horn. Uh, you can test the live data. Um, let's say, for example, you're looking at, let's see here. <laughs> Wipers systems or... You want to check your seat belts, for example. You can click live data, and uh, it'll show you. You know, you can choose whatever you want. Just pretty cool. And then you can configure. You could do. I mean, there's lots of different options that this thing gives you. But that's the thing with the scanner. Even though it's only fifty bucks, but it gives you a lot to work with. And you know, in my opinion, it's as good as any of these professional scanners. You know. And the option that you can have all these different cars is so cool. You're not limited to, you know, certain cars. So that's nice. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you got any questions regarding the scanner or um, certain options on here, um, just shoot me a uh, message or just um, leave me a comment on the bottom. And I'll try to help with what I can. Um, I'll try to upload some more videos on a car that has a lot of problems. Something more high tech. And then... Uh, that way you can kind of see what's going on. And, uh, but yeah, so that's about it. So overall, I think it's a really good scanner. I like it a lot. Very portable. You can carry it wherever you want in your pocket. It's always usually with me in my coat. You never know what kind of people you're going to meet, you know. So people having issues, boom. Make 20, 30 bucks just doing a scan. But usually what a dealer will charge you over 100 bucks to do a scan, this will do the exact same thing. It'll show you everything detailed, exactly what you need to fix. So that's pretty cool. I like it. I'm going to keep using it. And um, hopefully you guys can get your hands on some and maybe enjoy it as well. So have a good day.